What's up, family? Let's talk about some uncivilized mutts. A 93-year-old black woman is fighting back after what she called an unscrupulous development company tried to steal her land. I ain't got no problem with that. But don't get it twisted, fam. This ain't no David versus Goliath. You know why? Because Miss Josephine Wright got back up. That's right. Former state legislator Bakari Sellers is in her corner. <laughs> they was not expecting that. They thought that they was going to just bully that woman right off of her property. But whoa, they underestimated the power of Miss Josephine Wright. Backstory. The land in question is located in Hilton Head Island, which Miss Wright is a native of in South Carolina. And she's being sued by Bailey Point Investment Group for encroaching on their land and blocking their progress in developing a 147 unit complex next to her property. Ms. Wright says the developers made an offer to buy her property, but when she refused, the harassments began, which included slashing her tires, throwing trash on her property, and even hanging a snake from her window. They thought she was just going to go away. Uh, no can do. Ms. Wright is standing tall and fighting back. And by the way, the woman looks damn good. 93 years old. So who are these uncivilized mutts trying to take this woman's property? You know, the company is Bailey Point Investment. But I don't like just talking about companies because there are human beings behind these decisions that are being made. There are people who are responsible for jamming this woman up, trying to take her property. I looked up Bailey Point Investment in Open Corporates. And I wasn't able to find too much, but I found enough to get started. Jill Child Hurry McClellan is the registered agent for the company. And the organizer is Jin Song Yang. So those are the only names that I could find attached to the company for now. But I will keep digging. And we're going to get to the bottom of this. We just want to find out who these people are. Since Miss Wright is showing her face, I think it's only right for them to show their faces. Let's see who these people are who are trying to steal this 93-year-old woman's land from her. This company, Bailey Point, has been around for just over a year and a half. They were incorporated on October 18th, 2021. Ms. Rice says that she just wants them to leave her alone. She said, I wanna keep my property and I want them to leave me alone. So she instructed an attorney, Bluffton-based lawyer, Robert Vox, to handle the case. Don't know to what extent Bakari is working with her, but I know she got a strong ally with him. And she also has some other people with a lot of juice stepping up. Yeah, uh, Bailey Point, they wasn't ready for this. But I tell you, if you really wanna know what's going on with these companies when they try to, these developers when they try to steal black folks property, go to City Hall. A lot of times the city officials are involved. That's right, I said it. 
they are always involved. And see, really, if you want to pretty much do anything dirty, just legalize it. And these people who, who make the laws, they can just make a law and, and then enforce the law. Or they can, a lot of times these laws are ambiguous and there's a lot of wiggle room to determine what they really, really mean. That's why uh, lawyers have to argue cases. You have, you can take 20 lawyers and they can interpret it, interpret something 20 different ways. And, you know, half of them may be successful, the other half may not. Or 80% of them may be successful. You never know. You know, so that's why you always got to have lawyers to deal with this type of, this legal mumbo jumbo, pretty much what it boils down to. But they do that on purpose. They, they, they write a lot of these laws so that they can be interpreted. So you got to have a lawyer. And <laughs> depends on how good your lawyer is or how clever your lawyer is, then that's the way it goes. That's the way the decisions go. Anyway, fam, this is cold-blooded. You know, back in the day, they used to just kill black folks and take their land. But first they would try to scare them. They, they're always going to try to scare you. They still do that today. Just pick up the phone. Hey, get out of town, nigger, 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 nigger. All that old kind of stuff. Boy, I wish, boy, man, I wish one of them tried me like that, man. I, I'm, I'm, they ain't got no, I ain't, I ain't, I'm not going to be sitting waiting. I'm not going to sit and wait. I'm, I'm going to come looking for them. I'm going to find them. I'm very resourceful with the stuff like this. I'll go looking for them. Anyway, fam, I digress. <sighs> but this is an old play. And this is happening actually a lot to right now. This is not some, some old story. This is not old news. And Miss Wright is not the only one. This is happening all over America. They're still trying to steal black folks' land. Now, this company, Bailey Point, says that uh, Miss Wright's land, Miss Wright's uh, house is on their land. They're saying, well, actually, they're saying that um, her her property, her porch, is part of their property. When I believe Miss Wright and her supporters, I believe that that property is at least twenty two feet away from her porch. But they're trying to say that her porch, her back porch, belongs to them. The land that the back porch sits on belongs to them. If I was her, I wouldn't do anything. I mean, I, I absolutely would not move. Oh no, I would not move and I would make sure that anybody after me, don't move, don't sell. Let's make sure those taxes, put a plan in place, make sure those taxes are paid. And speaking of those taxes, there is a GoFundMe for Miss Wright to help her fight off these vulture, these vultures. So she needs to have money to pay attorneys. These attorneys are only gonna represent, so, represent you for so long before they run out of funds. They cannot dig into their own pockets and pay because this stuff costs money. It costs money to travel. It costs money to file these cases, to file, um, what do you call it? Um, what do they call those things? Motions and all that kind of stuff. It costs money. So right now the GoFundMe is around 100 thousand dollars they're looking for 150 thousand at least i think she's gonna need a lot more than that because you know uh but then again maybe not uh because they've been exposed and this is what you got to do to these monsters you have to expose them you have to expose them and when you expose them they go scurrying like the cowards they are that's right they go scurrying away like the cowards they are they was absolutely not looking for this. I, I, I pray that this woman do not sell her property for no amount of money. At her age, no one should be able to get away with imposing that type of stress on a 93 year old lady. That just goes to show you fam, when money walks in the door, integrity walks out. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Damn.